Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good man, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some red hot news for you today. And our first topic of the video, Babes Dumo is out and about kissing men. So Babes Dumo once again causes a stir with one of her many stunts on social media. Now the Gom singer, who really trends for anything positive mind you, has once again shared a video of herself kissing another man. And that other man is actually not husband Mampincha. Now her marriage to Mampincha actually gained a lot of scrutiny way before they even tied the knot to be honest with you. Because of all the drama which rocked them before they even got married. Now Bezo Duma has people talking because of her recent stunts if you want to call it that which saw her kissing another man. Now I would imagine that Bezo Duma actually saw the hype which was created after the first video where she kissed where she kissed Sizwe Mzalose the man who is featured on Zlazam Shungnisi's song Upete Nesanji. Now in the video the two of them are talking about being famous in Durban and other surrounding areas. They then brag about being well known and Babes Duma dances saying peace. <laughs> Well now there is a new video like I said Babes Duma asked the guy to give her a kiss and they both laugh afterwards. <laughs> Look, when it comes to Babes or Dumo, I don't even dare give yourself like give a personal opinion. Like I don't know what's going on with Babes or Dumo. I don't know what's going on in her marriage, in her life. Music wise, uh, she did release an EP, I believe, not so long ago. Haven't listened to that. I'll give it a listen because we're talking about Babes or Dumo right now. But one thing I do know is that Mampinja actually replied in the comment section of this particular video. So, so judging by Mampinja's response, as you can see over there, it's uh, some uh, running emojis, love emojis a, a bomb ukis wonyagalo roughly translated the kiss of the year or ting yofaga is bugo fast roughly translated let me go put on some uh, spectacles real quick all right kiss of the year that i hear i mean is this mampincha not getting kisses like that or perhaps even better of tongue saliva nyana you know but hey i'm not here to judge and the last part him getting some spectacles i yeah Look, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get those likes and retweets, you know, to trend. But moving right along, according to the reports, Babes Dumo has claimed that that is her cousin. Uh, some say that there is a little bit of a resemblance. I mean, I'll let you guys be the judge, get in the comment section down below. But cousin or not, many are finding this particular behavior by Babes Dumo a little bit distasteful considering that she is married. And obviously, the man she kissed first is not even her family. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys think about Babes Dumo going on a kissing spree. Now, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, Zandi Kumalo reaches out to Kelly Kumalo. So it looks like singer Zandi Kumalo wants to make amends with her sister Kelly Kumalo after their public fallout which saw them divorcing one another. And after that particular, I suppose, divorce from the two of them, for years they never interacted with each other on social media and Kelly Kumalo even publicly stated that she no longer wants anything to do with Zandi. Now the Kumalo sister's relationship actually reached rock bottom and it has something to do with Zandi's husband, according to the reports anyways. Now after a few harsh words directed at Zandi by Kelly Kumalo on her reality show, fans came to the conclusion that they would never fix things between the two of them. But a light at the end of the tunnel suggests that Zandi might want to make amends with Kelly Kumalo. Now she posted the following picture of the two of them with a short prayer in which she asked God to help them fix things between them. Now the prayer roughly translated is God, wherever she is, continue to give her strength please keep our mother alive she is very hopeful that one day things will change for the better 
amen to that but yeah getting back to kelly kumalo's reality show life with kelly kumalo kelly has had quite a few harsh words to say about her brother-in-law zanti's husband now of course this has kind of highlighted how much she apparently despises him and wants nothing to do with him now going to the report zandi's husband started the drama when she used kelly kumalo's name for an event that she was not even involved in reports claim that zandi's husband took a payment of 17,000 rands from organizers because they saw kelly and vusinova's name but kelly knew nothing about this kelly kumalo even went as far as distancing herself from this particular scandal kelly released a statement and said that zandi's husband is not her booking manager now apart from comments on her show kelly kumalo also recently spoke about her sister in an interview with true love and said that she does not exist she is quoted as saying i've moved on from that part of my life it no longer exists and never will well what is that saying never say never but yeah do get in the comment section down below and let me know what you guys thought about zandi's prayer our next topic, Moshendiki confirmed split from Pilo Bala. So Moshendiki and Pilo Bala were without a doubt one of our favorite gay celebrity couples in South Africa. Now the pair has been married for about two years now and they have made headlines for well, mostly the wrong reasons during their relationship. Now their love story seems to have been a messy one and at some point police were even involved. According to the reports, they had previously endured assault accusations and breakups. But this time around, it seems like they have called it quits for good. Now, this is not really the first time that the couple has called it quits, so do keep that in mind. In 2019, the two actually separated after Moshe allegedly assaulted Pelo with a candle stand, leaving him with a bleeding gash. But to more recent events, there have been several hints that they are no longer together. Moshe has not been wearing his wedding ring and not posting Pelo on his social media accounts, which is very important. You know, when they stop posting, each other it's a clear giveaway and when they start deleting pictures of the two of them and the last giveaway of course is when they unfollow each other ne? but moving right along it's no secret that the couple was totally in love with each other and i suppose they were once inseparable it seems pillow isn't handling the breakup too well as he has even deactivated his instagram account so yeah i mean if you're gonna go off that it does seem that the man is hurt but on the other side of the relationship, Moshe has been enjoying life as a single person and he keeps serving some power content on his Instagram account that he has not deactivated. Now, in a recent interview with Iso Lezwe, the TV host confirmed that their marriage has ended. He is quoted as saying the following, As a person who was previously married, I will get married again because I love marriage and love. The problem is not in love or marriage, it's with people. It seems that lately people are breaking up left, right and center and I will say this, it does seem sad especially when people are breaking up and it looks like they're still in love because right now I'm at a point in my life where I believe that you know what, if there is love, genuine love, somehow, some way, there might be a way but uh, then again if there's some assault and you know the relationship has gotten to a point where it's toxic and you are endangering yourself physically as well as emotionally let's not forget emotional abuse perhaps the best course of action is to get out of that situation oh i just dropped some bars over there unintentionally might i add but moving swiftly along from those bars, Pillow and uh, Moshe recently celebrated their second wedding anniversary. Now at the time, Moshe was on vacation in Zanzibar with his friends and it appears that their relationship had already taken a dark turn as he did not celebrate the special day with Pillow. Instead, Moshe gave his fans a glimpse of his vacation while Pillow gushed about him on social media. Pillow Bala posted the following on social media, happy second year wedding anniversary, love at Moshe Ndiki can't believe we made it this far. I think you don't know how strong you are to handle someone like me until Moshe tells you so. I am an extremist and at times a gentleman. Sometimes I'm laughing with you, other times I'm so wrong but you try your best to keep us going. I love you and I mean it. I pray that God keeps you around with me in time for you to see his glory in my life. Yeah, now I will say this, in that particular post caption, he doesn't really paint himself in the best of lights. But nonetheless, definitely all the best for them in the future with love. May they find what they are looking for.
Our next topic aka wins legal battle for the Bry Show. So aka has gone through a lot in recent months and it is refreshing to see him with a smile on his face which I would assume he definitely does have a big smile on his face right now. But yeah Monday afternoon yesterday I would assume a relieved aka came through to his social media to announce that he has won his long legal battle for his television show the Bry Show. Now he made the announcement through an official statement on his social media. So AKA posted a couple of screenshots on his social media that I captioned special thanks to Mulai, attorneys and my counsel, advocate Chidiso Ramohale and thanks to you the Megacy as always. Let this serve as a warning to anybody in the entertainment industry, individual production company or broadcaster who seeks to steal our ideas. Get those coins ready. So the first screenshot reads, this morning justice was finally served, I received confirmation of what I have always said, that I own the Bry Show. This matter for me has always been about business principles and asserting my rights to my intellectual property. It is about the injustices that continue to befall us in the creative industry and the violation of our trust by those we work with who continue to exploit us. You know when I read that part I was like, yeah, this is concluded. AKA and Casper in your vest will never, ever, ever, ever work together. But moving swiftly along, thus I'm happy that the arbitration proceedings have found in my favor that I am a 50% owner of the Bry Show and that no further exploitation of it can be transacted upon without my involvement. Now that the arbitration proceedings have determined with finality that I own half of the Bry Show, I will be going after what is rightfully mine against those that sought to exploit and undermine my creativity and intellect intellectual property, Keenan Jared Forbes. Now the next page is dated 12 March 22 in the matter between Keenan Jared Forbes who is the complainant and Makudu Com Media who is the respondent and the defendant award number one introduction in these arbitration proceedings the claimant is seeking to enforce his rights arising out of the partnership agreement the agreement concluded by the parties. Next, we go to a conclusion, which is 50. There is a valid and binding partnership agreement between the parties, 51. The dependent is in breach of the partnership agreement, 52. The claimant has made out a case for a final interdict, 53. The claimant is entitled to benefit from the fruits arising from and in relation to exploitation of jointly owned copyright. The claimant is entitled to the profits realized in the exploitation of the jointly owned intellectual property. So I'm assuming that AKA deserves 50% of the proceeds of whatever they got for the second season of the Bright Show with Cass. Next up, we've got the award 54. The partnership agreement between the parties is valid. 55. The defendant is forthwith interdicted from breaching the partnership agreement between the parties. 56. The claimant is entitled to benefit equally with the defendant with respect to proven profits released in the exploitation of the jointly owned copyright. The claimant is awarded the cost of uh, what is that? These proceedings? And lastly, AKA added the following clip. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my show, The Bry Show. You, um, did I just burp on TV? It's my show, I can do whatever I want. Yes, indeed, it's your show, AKA. <laughs> you gotta love Super Mega. But yeah, definitely congratulations to AKA for winning his court battle. And just like that, we have reached the end of the news. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do me a huge favor. Share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't. And binge watch my previous videos.